There's no question, beef is big. Beef, it's what's for dinner. The world produces an estimated 160 billion pounds of it each year. But research shows the world's one and a half billion cattle have an outsized impact on the climate. They use up a ton of water, and their manure can pollute waterways. But one impact is easier to hear than see. That's a cow burping out methane, a greenhouse gas that builds up in a cow's four stomachs as it digests food. Globally, cattle emit more than 231 billion pounds of methane into the atmosphere every year, tagging them as the biggest agricultural source of greenhouse gases worldwide. One solution to this turf problem could come from the surf. The seaweed is somewhat of the, the holy grail of you know, climate change in terms of solutions from the ocean. Dr. Jen Smith is researching how this species of seaweed, called Asparagopsis taxiformis, can stop all that burping. Once it is fed to the livestock, it simply prevents methane from ever being formed, and therefore the cows uh, don't burp that methane out of their mouth. One study found that adding just a tiny amount of this red seaweed to a cow's diet reduced its methane emissions between 40 and 98 percent. Now Dr. Smith is partnering with an Australian company to scale up production. The goal is not to really produce it. We know how to do that, but only do it more efficiently. Steve Miller's company, CH4 Global, makes a red seaweed-based feed additive called Methane Tamer. It's already being fed to cattle in Australia with plans to grow it worldwide. The goal is to perfect the process of growing asparagopsis in outdoor grow ponds that can be built anywhere with access to ocean water. We're giving people the choice to say, do I eat that plant-based approach or do I eat that meat-based approach that has now dramatically lowered its carbon footprint. Meller expects to see low methane beef in U.S. supermarkets by the beginning of next year. But he has some big hurdles to clear, like getting the FDA and Congress to agree on how to regulate the seaweed additive, something CH4 is working with lawmakers to change. And the whole idea has some experts skeptical. I don't want to say it would do nothing, but just wouldn't do enough. Jan Dukevich points to recent studies that show less exciting results from red seaweed and says that the only way to significantly reduce methane emissions is to grow and eat fewer cows. I think if we're talking about making large scale changes in the food system, we really need to think about the what and not the how of what we're producing. Still, to Steve Miller, it's full steam ahead. Little seaweed with a big footprint. <laughs> the little engine could, so to speak, and it's red too. Red seaweed for a greener future. Christine Romans, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.